Hey, full-time fans, time for overtime, brought to you by Modelo. And this is where we like to have fun on the show, of course. <laughs> for everyone who's with us every single week, we have a little fun segment prepared. What do we got, this, Scooby? Right? What do we got? This week, you know, since it is festive time. In the know, spirit you hear, of. Yep. You hear the, the music. This makes me want a little eggnog or some some <laughs> with a little <laughs> All right, All right, so what we're going to do here is... Uh, we're going to talk about the latest CFP rankings, but with a Turkey Day twist. We're going to call some teams certain foods. And uh, okay. like I said, I'm checking out the YouTube chat. Someone says, nobody's talking about how Oregon can bang down the door and knock everything off. Well, why don't we talk about it a little bit over here? Because what if Oregon is the broccoli casserole at number four? Because this is our top four. For the playoff. Well, Sam, what do you think? Well, I got to be honest, Scooby. I know you're not a huge fan of the broccoli casserole. The broccoli casserole. But like, I think the broccoli casserole, when done well with little crispy onions on top, some cheese, obviously, it's a very underrated dish. And I think Oregon is still underrated as a team. You see their ranking. I think they should be number four. They're currently number six. You win next week. They're in the top four. Yeah, l let me go ahead and retweet what you just said because Oregon is nice. All right, our next one is Washington. We think they're the third-ranked team in the country, and they're like the stuffing, you know, at the Thanksgiving table because they're just making everything work. They seem to just fit in the right mm -hmm. place. Um, sometimes made well, sometimes not made well, but <laughs> it gets the job done. You know what I mean? And Washington getting this win was huge against Washington State, a team that, quite frankly, has not been great. But as we always say, rivalry week, you can kind of throw everything out of the door and the teams will be able to uh, make the game more competitive. Mm -hmm. And looking at Washington's schedule this season, y'all, check it out, uh, chat. Uh, their biggest win, that game against Oregon. Oregon's coming for you. They're coming yeah. for you. No, they are. Let me, tell, let me also tell you something else about stuffing, too, Scoop. Uh, it kind of brings everything together. <laughs> brings everything together. Brings everybody together. Yeah, There's that. a lot of different variations, too. You can go stovetop stuffing. You can go the homemade stuffing. <laughs> you can get it a lot of different ways. Washington has won <laughs> a lot of different ways this year. There you go. That's the comparison. I'll tell you what Michigan is as our second-ranked team in the country. Well, that looks good. Turkey. Just the way that I think about Turkey is how I think about Michigan. Overrated and nobody <laughs> needs it anyway. Oh, <laughs> oh. All right, we do need Michigan. Let me, let me, let me not take the that far. The chat's going to come But it's right still now. overrated. I don't care about okay, the people that are in the, the, the group that will be mad at me for this. <laughs> but um, Michigan, offense, not the best. Defense, the best. I'll yeah. give you that. Turkey, not the best, but people like to keep it traditional. Yeah, I'm Michigan, with you. it just does what um, the solid things like turkey, you know, yeah. sometimes um, old reliable. It, yeah, th think about this with turkey, right? People make it once a year. Mm -hmm. You never decide on a hot July mm. afternoon to deep fry a turkey dish. <laughs> That's right. No, you never do that. You only do it during this time of the yeah. year. Overrated turkey, Michigan, a little overrated to me. Don't come for me, y'all. No, okay. I, I'm with this you there, too. Fun. I'm with you there, too. Let's go on to, uh, let's go on to number one, shall we? We all, right. all like a good dessert, right, Scoop? Yeah, and the dessert, the sweetest of all. <laughs> um, and sometimes all it takes is, is a dog, like the Georgia dogs. Mm -hmm. They're number one. They're our dessert. After a good meal, after you've eaten up the quarterback sometimes, <laughs> you, you just want some sweet, a little something sweet. And uh, Georgia might be the sweetest team in a good way in the country. <laughs> well, let me just tell, let me, let me say this, Scoob. There's nothing sweeter than winning. And uh, Georgia wins, and they win a lot. And they're they're well on their way to winning their third straight national title. Yeah, Brock Bowers is back. Carson Beck's playing well. A lot of sweetness. That, um, that, that team is locked in. Give me something.